Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today, of course, is Dr. Pritchard from Plastic Surgery of North Mississippi. And today we're talking all about questions that I know that some people don't like to ask their plastic surgeon when they're going in and talking about breasts. How are you, my friend? Good and fast. Nice Welcome. to see you again. Uh, likewise, likewise. Okay, so I know these questions might be... Yeah you know, silly to ask you now, but I can only imagine in all the years that I've been doing this that women come to you and don't ask the question because they think they should already know. A lot of them, because usually after the consult's over with, I go out and ask my staff, because they've been talking to them, yeah. and they'll have five or six questions answered. Yeah. that they didn't ask me. And I think yeah. that's the important thing, that you need to arm yourself. I say arm, right. because when you go in and have these consultations, you need to have a little bit of information yourself to begin with. I love when someone's done some research, yeah. because it makes my job a little easier to communicate. Yeah. Because I've got to know what, what they're really thinking. What All they right. Want. You ready for this? Yeah. What? One of the questions is, are there different kinds of breast implants? Oh, yes. There's the uh, standard saline implant, and then there's the silicone implant. Right. And that kind of silicone, uh, they've got these in different shapes now, and there's different textures. So, um, you know, the texture implants are off the market now. We use smooth walled implants, and they have different shapes, and uh, they're very, they're so very what good. So what do you suggest? There's two different types. What are you using the most of? Mostly I'm using uh, silicone implants. Okay. In fact, we just got stats back from last year and about 90% of all breast enlargements are by silicone. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's the obvious choice yeah. and a good one to ask as well. Another one wanted to know, how long do breast implants last? I think I've asked you this before because I thought you had to have a tune-up every few years. Oh, the standard was back many years ago. It had to be about every 10 years you might want to think about replacing these yeah. implants. And I've had people walk in from Birmingham that just moved to Tupelo and I want my implants exchanged. It's been 10 years. And I'm like, why? Uh, you, you know, if it, our, our, our statement, our society is, if it's, if it's not broke, why fix it? Yes. And I think that goes with implants too, unless you just absolutely want to replace What's the FDA um, say on that? 10 years, 15 years, or just you need to have them checked out? If, have them checked out. Okay. They, 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 don't, they don't put a date on it. All right. Will the rights, um, will, what is the right size of an actual implant? Well, isn't that that's, that's a little hard. Yeah. And, and you know, patients, patients come in and they say, I want to be a C or a D. Well, in my mind, I'm looking at their body type. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody is different. I take, take a lot of measurements. Based off that, I pick the implant out that will probably get them what they want. Got you. Yeah. All right. Now, a lot of people ask me, because they see me doing these interviews, Troy, can I breastfeed? if I've had an implant, yeah. I'm like, hello, call your plastic surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it true or is it not? Oh, yeah, and, and they all do. I do a lot of young ladies, and they say, hey, I might want to get pregnant in three or four years, and that's fine. And I say, you can breastfeed. There's no evidence that uh, there's any silicone leakage gel out yeah. to the breast milk. All right. How do we know if a breast implant has ruptured, and what do we need to do if we feel that? That's a good question because if it's if it's saline, then obviously it's it's just full of of a saline solution. The body absorbs it and goes flat. Oh, and that so we see a, a breast size. size right. Yeah, silicone not necessarily. It could be leaking out from. I've seen two, and the only thing that told me something was wrong is they were having discomfort. Right. And it's swelling like inflammation. I'm going to answer this one. It says, are there alternatives to breast implants to get bigger breasts? Something that you and I love to talk about is fat transfer. Oh, absolutely. And we're doing that now. Yeah. We're doing that into the breast. You know, there's only so much fat you can put in, though. Of so course. That, that's sort of your limiting factor on yeah. those kind of surgeries. And, you know, they talk about also doing a breast lift and taking the breast tissue you were going to take out and... Up oh, under that's the interesting. Always great information. We really appreciate you. Enjoy if you want to here. find out more information about Dr. Pritchard, there it all is up on the screen. Plastic Surgeons of North Mississippi. Be sure to give them a call.